Yep, so he is. The Dutchman flying now, and he might get another chance this time on Fabrizio Donoso, the Chilean now, as they make their way up towards Kemmel. Here comes Jano Wapbeer now, as they make their way up the hill. The high elevation charge of this Belgian Grand Prix circuit of Spa. Wapbeer opted for the inside line, heading into the lake on beds, but not enough to topple Donoso, who holds on, but still he's chewing, biting on the rear of that Alpine now. Donoso tries to defend the inside line, switch back from Jano. To the next right of Bruchelle's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant from the Dutchman. Up into P6. Wow, wow. On the soft tyres. Sensational move, Jack Hinnan. And this always seems to happen at the end of a PSGL championship. We're coming towards the end of the final two races, folks. We've got one race left after this week. But tonight could be the night that Moreno, uh, oh, sorry, Oppier is current champion. Unless Moreno goes ahead of him. Yeah, you can see Jano Oppier off the exit of turn number three. He's looking onto the back. Oh, Bruno Vallejo possibly to the outside line of the hairpin. He goes deep on the brakes. Has he made this move? Second round the outside line. I think he has. As is Jano Oppier on Dylan Ward up the inside. Into turn. Turn number one, Dylan Warren tucking him on the switch, backing up the inside at turn number two, wheel to wheel between the pair of them, in towards a switching left-hander of turn number three, side by side off the exit, can Dylan Warren get the run, not quite, Yano Watman into P5, he has come a light on the set, the soft combat of tyres. Yano Watman going for the move now on John Evans, and to make their way out of turn 11, the Ferrari on medium tyres, step battling between the pair, Yano Watman standing down the, down the bend now at a turn. 13, exquisite from the Dutchman. Down towards turn 14 now. Here comes Jano Wapir again. Down the inside now. Into turn 14. Incredible as well as Sebastian Joop trying to close on Lucas Blakely. But Wapir's up into P3. Jano Wapir now, right to the rear. Gonna go for blazes here in P2. What a finale this has been. As he goes alongside now the Alpha Tari. Heading down the straight now. Nothing separates them. Jano's in P2, folks. Jano in P2. He now could be looking onto the back of Lucas Blakely, whose tyres are not looking in good condition. Three tenths is the gap between Jano Watmir and Lucas Blakely. It's now they round the final corner for the penultimate time. The final lap now begins. Jano Watmir closing onto the back of Lucas Blakely into turn number one. Not close enough to make a gap stick, but he is closing. He is trying to go for this move, and the difference in tyres is going to be detrimental for Blakely. He's held on all he can. He's fended off pressure from the likes of John but it could all come to an end as Jano Watmir closes up to the back of him. He could well do. This would be one of the more dramatic finishes to a PSGL race we have ever seen. One final lap and look who's behind the Dutchman, a familiar foe from previous seasons. It's Nicholas Longay, folks. Incredible. We're watching something that we would never have expected at the start of a Grand Prix. Lap 28 of 28, a final safety car that allowed Otmir to make a change and go onto a soft set of tyres. Lucas Blakely has got to defend for his life here. He knows the Dutchman is in behind. They're making their way down through towards turn 11, rising up through the bend, a flick of the rear from Lucas Blakely. They're now sensing it. I'm sensing it. You're sensing it in the live chat. Yana want me now for the final time down the long straight. In behind Lucas Blakely, it's a battle of the Titans. They made their way down towards the bit bend. Can Lucas Blakely defend? On me around the outside now and makes it happen he's up into p1 the dutchman has done it but lucas blakely on the switchback i'm losing my voice but it's all worth it yard around the final corner he has won he has won the, the absolutely amazing race chinese grand prix elect yard Wapier is your winner of the chinese grand prix they're gonna close up very soon because i think got me i just about oh dear yano's left the session oh no Disconnect for Yano Omir as Bradic has, has swapped places with Carrington. But yeah, that's a very big surprise. You don't often see that from Yano Omir. As you can quite clearly see, his car ghosted. He's rejoined the session, but that would have cost him uh, at least one position on the road. And it looks like he's going to lose another one to Beresnay. Yep, yeah, there goes the Ferrari. Oh. Bradic and Carrington side by side. The Ferrari and the Williams still arguing. And Omir has decided, well, if you're going to have an argument, I'm just going to slip through. Don't mind me. Jano Watme may still get on the podium here. Yeah, the Mercedes on the inside line of the Ferrari, on the inside line of Schlossgold. And that is third for Otme. My goodness me, Carrington is still there. Could well get involved. It really is anybody's guess.
because on the final lap we're gonna see all the action Jake Benham closing to the rear of Barry Burman his soft tyre is not gonna be in the best nick they gotta use all of their all their resources now here goes Benham in towards turn number four oh. it's a repeat of last time Benham onto the grass in towards turn number three the braking zone has been met by the pair of them Benham's off the circuit this is a complete parallel to what we saw in season 29 and wow. Jarno won here oh my word Jarno the winner of the Hungarian Grand Prix goes up the inside of the pair of them and now he leads this race he's only got two more sectors and a few more corners to go before he is a two-time winner in this season only ma the only man to do it so far it's been five races down and five different winners but finally we're gonna see a repeat victory because Yano on me no one can contest him through the final two corners he goes he's had everything thrown in his way the game didn't want him to win but off the exit of the final corner the flying Dutchman done it Yano wins and we take the lead on the most important lap of the race and we're gonna bring home the win for the second time this season after one of my best races ever not gonna lie we disconnected lost five seconds and we're basically out Close. of convention yes what? yes because through the final corner on lap number 25 it has been an absolute dominant performance from Jarno Otmir today as off the exit of the final corner for the final time and across the line check and flag falls for Otmir he is a three time winner this season it's Hungary, Austria and now Saudi Arabia Jarno Otmir on the top step of the podium once again wow 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 that was Probably, in my time commentating, the most complete, perfect performance I have seen. That was a masterclass, and I do not use the word masterclass lightly, folks. Perigny, will he perhaps let Jarno Otmir through here? He's letting him get closer and closer. Let's see what's going to happen. It's going to be all, and Otmir sits behind him. He backs out of it. What is going to happen in the next couple of corners? This could get very, very tactical as we begin the final lap of this Grand Prix. The most successful driver ever against a man trying to win his first top tier race. Will it be Perigny? Will it be Otmir? Will he back out the throttle? Does it look like it? Perigny is surely going to be a sitting duck. Otmir now with all the battery available to him as he tries to connect four straight victories here in PSGL. Perigny will try and defend with all his might. Here comes Otmir though, one of the best there is. He's gaining, he's in the slipstream. He's alongside Simon Perigny. He's clear of Simon Perigny. He's back into the lead of the race and surely now is on course to make it four wins in a row. What a performance. But Jano Otmir, he is unbeatable. He's unstoppable. He is the invincible flying Dutchman with now just one more sector to go. It has been one, two, three and four for Jano Otmir as he completes the quadruple hat-trick of wins. He crosses the line. Jarno Otmir takes the victory in Belgium. Jarno Otmir, four wins in a row, looking to make it five in front of his home crowd here in the Netherlands. Look at the Orange Army waiting impatiently in the grandstand, expectantly, expecting him to pick up the victory. It's all about the run now, off the final corner. Canaton, is he a sitting duck or can he defend from Jarno Otmir? Here he comes, the Dutchman to the outside, into the lead of the Dutch Grand Prix as he looks to make it five in a row and listen to the roar from the Dutch fans on home soil. Otmir into the lead with a final lap move. Canaton demoted the second and it looks like it will be five straight wins in PSGL for Jan Watmia, who's in the form of his life, Dan. Out of the final corner on home soil, he lays down the corner once again to cross the line. Jan Watmia wins at the Netherlands. It's five on the spin for the Dutchman in front of his home fans. What a victory that is. He had to fight. He had 11 or 12 drivers in the fight determined to stop him but they couldn't stop him on home soil the Dutch fans go home happy he passes Caraton on the final lap to claim the victory what more do you want folks it does not get better than this nearly 5,000 of you tuning in to watch the action here tonight it's been absolutely epic so here we go two two-time champions 
racing together down towards turn one. It's up there going for the lunge. He is from a long way back. Sticks it down the inside of Brendan Lee. Makes it work. Brendan Lee on the exit of the corner. Tries to fight back. But as they get to the SE section, Otmir is far enough in front, holds his place and is into the podium places. What a battle, what a race between two of the stars of F1 Esports. Jan Otmir, despite the two second delta, pure lap on the undercut, has slowly whittled the gap down, has reeled in the Iranian driver and you can see him struggling for grip, sliding like crazy all over the SE section and Otmir is now like a lion prowling his prey, ready to pounce as they make their way through turn 11 and now we will see the DRS open, you can see the ERS being used by Jarno Otmir, the reigning champion, closing in on Barry Burniman, this is going to be easy, he breezes past him down the straight, can Barry fight back, he's going to try maybe down the inside, round the outside tries Barry Burniman, he can't quite do it and Otmir's made it work. There will be no championship today. He couldn't quite outscore Barry Burman by 11 points. The Iranian has made him wait for one more week. But round the final corner, Jarno Otmir crosses the line, wins the United States Grand Prix here in Kota. He's a two-time F1 Esports World Champion. He picked up the PC title in PSGL in season 28. 29 and on PlayStation in season 25. He's got three to his name. He's about to make it four. And in season 30 on PSGL and PC, it's going Dutch again. Otmir crosses the line, wins the title in PSGL tonight. That is his fourth PSG title, uh, PSGL title, his third on PC. It was not the race he was looking for, but he will not care a jot. He is champion. Wongi holding back. It's a tactical game. And look at that down the inside. Shinaka Clay into the lead of the race from absolutely nowhere. We're going three wide down the street. Yarno Otmir ain't giving this up. There's barely any room. We're going four wide down the start finish streak to turn one. Paradis still leads. And look at Otmir round the outside of Longi. Can't quite make it work. Paradis holds on. Runs a little bit wide. Longi, look at the switch back from Otmir. Incredible. Side by side. He goes with his teammate. And there's contact now between Longy, a massive shot, massive shot, Jake Benham's out of the race, Yano Otmia places his car in the perfect position to steal the lead of the race on the penultimate lap of this Grand Prix, have you ever seen a more dramatic WR race than this? It's the battle at the top has been brilliant, absolutely brilliant to say the least, Perez is still in front, Otmia in behind, he will have DRS to surely decide his fate in this race early, still with no penalty, he will win Well, I'm, I've just got to put it all down to these drivers. There goes up here around the outside of Zoic Perancic. I don't think he could have done anything else in this race. Out the final corner for the final time. We get a deal. A wheel to wheel race between Martinez and Richie. As they cross up, up here wins the race. Martinez on the line. Take P2. Martinez takes second place. Yano up here is your winner. One of those people that's made a move is Jano Otmir, the current champion, moving from Alfa Romeo to Mercedes. That is a huge look for him. And Mercedes, they've signed a champion. Good luck to Jano, Danny, and Bono in tonight's race. So Jano Otmir started on the intermediate time. Right, OK, hold on. So, yeah, no, with three laps, Jano Otmir started these conditions. Which is why he dropped back. He hasn't yeah. had contact with anyone. He was just living with these conditions. Otmir, Moreno, Tormela and Longe, keep your, keep your eyes on that gaggle, because if it is time for Inters, they have gambled, and that gamble is in play. Yeah, it's drying up, drying up. Oh, Otmir's six seconds clear of Donoso, who was P4 before he pitted. So Lucas Blakely, who was running in P3, comes in, this is a fascinating, fascinating second race of the year. Freddy Rasmussen is the new race leader. Jarno Otmir is tearing into this racetrack, which it might not look it for the time being, but given that everyone's jumping on the intermediates, is appearing to dry out. OK, now I'm boxing. I'm overeating the rush. Fabrizio Donoso, did he go early? Was he brave? Was he bold? Or will Otmir, having gambled once, 
responding. Will he keep the lead? This is where we're going to find out. They've all come in. Watch Donoso's name on the left-hand side. It's going to be a few moments. Right, up to sixth, up to third. Where's Donoso? Coming out. There's the race leader. Fabrizio Donoso takes the lead. Unbelievable. Fabrizio Donoso at the Alpine leads the race by only six tenths of a second from up there. This is not over. Yeah, with long... Oh, oh he's wide. He's wide. And he's treacherous out there. There's still... If you move away from the wet racing line, you might open the door and Otmir doesn't need a second invitation. We now have Otmir on the back of Donoso for the race lead from 14th on the grid. This has worked out perfectly for Yano with the Mercedes driver. Can he get him into the hairpin? Well, he's in the traction zone now. He's in the slipstream. Can he take the lead? Yano Otmir's going for it. There's no defense offered by Donoso. Was he caught unawares there? Yano Otmir's got back through. Extraordinary stuff. Was Donoso trying the up and under? There wasn't much of a contest, but Otmir back at the head of the field. And Yano Otmir is three corners away from something genuinely special. Those early laps when you're on the wrong tyre, when the main task was keep it pointing in the right direction, has led him to the final corner of the last lap. And you are watching one of the great drives of F1 Esports completed. Yano Otmir is the brilliant winner in China after a sensational drive in the wet, a sensational drive in the dry. And that smile tells you all you need to know. Wow. But Jana Watme is going to extend and go into the championship lead as well as take that team standings higher up. He is still the driver to beat in F1 Esports for the second race in a row. Jana Watme sees the checkered flag first and wins in Austria. I tell you what, Jana Watme says, catch me if you can. Jana knows with his teammate out of the points that this is going to be a huge swing in the favour of Red Bull. He needs to try and put some damage limitation here. Just can't do anything, but Jano Watme has a little look into the bus stop chicane. There's a little bit of contact as well with the left rear of Marcel Kiefer. Marcel really struggling on these intermediates now. The final lap into Le Source for the last time. Oh, basically pushing through Eau Rouge. Has Marcel Kiefer got enough in his tyres to deal with the pressure from Jano Otmier? And we don't forget, we have David Tanitza right in the mix. Oh, this is going to be so now, Matt. This is going to be so close. So where, which way are they going to go? Jano to the inside. David Tanitza can't find any way on the racetrack to get through. Jano and Marcel going to be side by side through the sequence of corners. But it's going to be Jano Otmir who takes P2 away from Marcel Kiefer. David Tanitza enters the fight as well now. Marcel going defensive. He doesn't know which way to go, David Tanitza. Delonge has to absolutely nail this. If Jano is within, is within three tenths, it's probably game over for Longgate. You can see how close Yano is. This is going to be unbelievably close. That is such a difficult part of the racetrack to follow, but Otmir's in the box seat. He's bringing Freddy Rasmussen as well. He's in the in the position to go for oh, it. Oh, he's let him through. He's let him through. He's gone tactical. And Nicholas Longgate drops down to third position. Is it going to be a mistake? Otmir takes the race lead. Could this swing open for Freddy Rasmussen? Well, he was out of form yesterday. Throw that out the window. Jarno Opnir back on top, and he crosses the line to win that Kota with a superb performance to go back into the lead of the championship. This is the closest that we've seen Rasmussen all the way. Can he stay close now? Can he go for it? Is it wide? Is it wide? Let him through. He let him through. He's wide. So he went tactical. He went tactical at the end. Freddy Rasmussen has the race lead. Was it tactical? Was it the right way to go? He's trying to break the toe. The Red Bull leads and he's on to the last lap. Did Yano Otmir go tactical and did he get it right or did he get it wrong because Rasmussen's got P1 but is it the right way to go? Otmir diving to the inside. Otmir plays it to perfection and regains the lead. Tactical masterclass at this stage. Otmir ahead of Rasmussen. Confidence and execution from a champion separated across the line by less than half a second. Jano Otmir brilliantly wins in Mexico City to take an 18-point advantage into the final race of the year. He's beaten Freddy Rasmussen and he's put one hand on the championship trophy. Tactical masterclass from Jano Otmir. He comes over the line, then it's Lucas Blakely, Sebastian Job, and the moment's arrived for the Dutch driver. Oh, has he been stressed in the last half hour. But Jano Otmir is the F1 Esports champion of 2021. He takes the Pro Championship for the second year in a row, and it's the double by Jano Otmir. 
Unbelievable stuff for the Dutch driver. Champion again.